Due to the lack of truthful coverage on the Australian fires, I figured that some of you may not have heard the majority of them were started by arson because we have Hollywood celebrities virtue signaling about the climate telling you to donate money. Teen Firefighter is among dozens accused of lighting fires that have ravaged Australia. This fire season, police have taken legal action, ranging from cautions to charges against almost 200 people in New South Wales alone. That includes 24 people charged with deliberately lighting bushfires, 53 accused of failing to comply with the fire ban, and 47 accused of discarding a lit cigarette or match. Police in Australia are accusing 24 people of deliberately setting bushfires. NSW police have taken legal action against 183 people, 40 of whom are juveniles, for fire-related offenses since November 8th, the statement said. The legal actions range from cautions to criminal charges. You know what's really crazy? They're trying to cover it up. Australia's wildfires spark disinformation battle as they take a tragic toll. Authorities are also battling hoaxes and misinformation, including false reports of widespread arson. Many of the claims seek to suggest that arson, not climate change, was a key driver of the historic fires. The truth about Australia's fires. Arsonists aren't responsible for many this season. The truth. Oh boy. The media is going to tell me the truth. I can't make this up. The simple reason for covering this up? They want to spread more misinformation about climate change. Enormous mega fire in Australia engulfs 1.5 million acres. It is just one of some 135 bushfires in Australia's southeast that have claimed the lives of at least 26 people, killed more than a billion animals, and damaged or destroyed nearly 3,000 homes. Meanwhile, more than 30,000 people attended a protest in Sydney to denounce the government's handling of the crisis and to call for action on climate change. All of these news articles are fairly similar, being very dramatic about the scale of the blaze, how many people have suffered, tragedies, then segueing into the climate crisis. Brainwashed sheeple are believing their government. This is laid out as clear as day. Oh my god, Australia is burning. Oh my god. We need to give all our money to save the animals. How how much more clear can it be? This is completely If people believe this, I should just give up. It's all a strategy to control people. And what's great about it for them is they're getting the civilians to do their dirty work set laws and policies in action that will further restrict our rights, take our money, take our lives. What's crazy about this is a theory from another YouTuber named Russian Vids. The fires in Australia line up with the proposed high-speed railroad. He speculated that it could be a controlled burn. A similar coincidence with past California wildfires. They lined up with another proposed high-speed railroad. When this happened in California, it was labeled a conspiracy theory. Just like the arsons are being labeled as lies. Once you actually understand what climate is, how it's regulated by solar cycles, the magnetic frequencies, how we are entering a grand solar minimum, somewhat of a mini ice age, how they can actually manipulate climate and geoengineer things. So, you know, despite us entering a mini ice age, that Ice Age might not happen if they're spraying heavy metals in the air. Everything appears to be a lie, and life slowly becomes more and more meaningless. That's the issue with conspiracy theories. It's just, it's just depressing. What is there to do about it? No one wants to take action. Vegans and carnivores, carnivores, are virtue signaling about the climate to fit their own agenda. Oh, animal agriculture is terrible for the environment. How the boy, you should be eating that grass-fed, grain-finished beef as it is eco-positive as my daughter's Mercedes and my seven million dollar house. I, I don't, I don't really have any more words for this. I, I feel like I, uh, as I said, uh, a week and a half ago, I'm just gonna escape to a farm with a hot Russian girl and stop, you know, dealing with this, taking abuse from people, and honestly, you guys that are still continuing to support me, are keeping me around, but, you know, it's getting to the point where, you know, the corporate chill abuse I've been taking, it's very clear what's going on, you know, the gang stalking, the gaslighting, all of this stuff, it's, uh, it's reached a peak, they really want to get rid of me, and, 
uh, who knows what's going to happen. So thank you guys for joining me. Please like the video. Most importantly, share the video. If you guys do want to support me further, uh, check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet, down in the description below. You guys can also check out Frankie's Syringe Mead, Frankie's Naturals, you know, franktestafano.com for health and fitness consultations.